Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LGGym007, and today we're looking at the Better Gels plugin. So, this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to really easily create jails and jail players who have been naughty. So, I've built this small little jail here, and we're going to go inside and create a new one. So, first of all, we're going to go into this cell. This is where people are going to be imprisoned. And all we need to do is do forward slash set jail and then call it something. So, this is going to be cell three. You can obviously name it whatever you want. And then we are going to go outside and jail my other account. So first of all, if we do four slash jails, that's going to show the available ones. And you can see I've made three so far. And then let's go ahead and jail my other account. He's been up to no good. So if we do four slash jail, his username, and then choose a jail. So let's go with jail one and then the amount of time. So choose a number such as one and then M for minutes, H for hours and then S for seconds. So he's imprisoned for 30 seconds, as you can see in chat, and he's said a message as well automatically. He's stuck in there. Hopefully he learns his lesson. And then what we can do is for slash jail info and then uh, an inmate, such as my other account, and it's going to give you all the information, so how long left, which jail they're in, who jailed them, and stuff like that, which is really useful. And then after 30 seconds have passed, he will be teleported back to his previous location where he was before he went to jail. Then if we do for slash jail his name again, cell 3 this time, which is the new one we created, and have a look inside, he is teleported to where we were standing when we created the jail, which is pretty awesome. There's a few other commands, so if we do for slash del jail, and then one of the jails we created, so jail 2, that's going to delete it, as simple as that. And then if we do for slash better jails reload, that's going to reload the config file and reload any changes you made. Now, if you jail someone by accident, you can always do for slash unjail and their username, and that's going to unjail them before their time runs out. But that is pretty much everything in game. It's very simple, but very easy to use. Let's head over to the config file and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel, and as you can see, there are three YML files and a player data folder. So you don't need to edit this, but in the config file, there is a few things we can change. So up at the top, we've got the backup location. This is where players will be teleported if their original location is found to be corrupt. So that's pretty useful to have. You can obviously change that. Do you want offline time when a player is not on the server to count as their sentence time? Yes or no? Then do you want the permissions group to change to, for example, a prisoner group when someone is jailed? So that is a pretty cool feature. We've got the auto save time, so every five minutes it saves everything. Then we have all of the messages, so these look pretty nice, but you can change the format codes and color codes if you want. And then we've got the jails format in a line format when you do jails list. And then we have the jails.yml, this is going to save data about the jails that we create, and the sub commands, this is pretty awesome. So when a player is jailed, it will perform these commands as the prisoner. And then it will perform these commands as console. So as we saw in game, it said, oh, poopers, I've been imprisoned. And then as the prisoner, it will give them the four slash rules command so they can reread them and hopefully follow them. And then you can do the same on release. It can perform commands and show the prisoner whatever you want. And that is pretty much everything in the config file. It's a really awesome plugin. If we head over to the Spigot page, you can see it's updated to 1.15. It's got all your commands and permissions here that you'll need. And if you need any help, contact the developer over here. So if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.